Welcome back to the Crypto Clown World channel. My name is Jason Bruce, your host with the honks, honking back in, getting you started this Monday morning, the 22nd of May, 2023. And it's been a few days since we uh, brought you a nice call on Pepe and gave us an idea of the Bitcoin price direction. So with that in mind, I'm going to jump back in to the price action on the charts today. And actually, now that I take a look, I actually kicked off on XRP. So we're going to start off on XRP real quick. Uh, on the one hour time frame. So we did have this triangle consolidation breakout, uh, small inverse head and shoulders, another breakout, formed a bit of a rising wedge and broke down, okay? So over the weekend, we formed this small inverse head and shoulders pattern, and I believe that this can create a similar result to what we saw here before. So I am looking for a move uh, back up to the top of this pattern here, all right? I'm just kind of messing with that shape. It is a bit of a rising wedge that broke down there. Those do break down 68% of the time. Um, so the move here out of this inverse head and shoulders would take the price up to about 48 to 49 cents. And the idea from there would uh, be to hopefully see some consolidation and then a move up to around this 50 cent level at this 200 weekly moving average. All right. Now, if you do uh, like what you're seeing with this technical analysis, please make sure that you're smashing the like button. If you didn't on the way in, hit the bell for notifications. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel so that we can bring you this content in the future. So I'm going to try to bang it out quickly this morning. I'm going to jump back over to Bitcoin. We've got a lot to cover. And there are a few scenarios potentially unfolding here for BTC. So there are a number of spider lines that we have to kind of respect right now in terms of this price action. We did have this one here and keep in mind we're on the four hour time frame right now, folks. Uh, a lot of people were looking this as a potential neckline for a head and shoulders pattern. Uh, right now that is still potentially in play. Okay, um, let's see where the target on that would actually be. Breakdown on that would be pretty close to the golden pocket and the breakdown target that I have highlighted uh, for the flagpole of this consolidation. Now, let's keep in mind where this consolidation is occurring, okay? This consolidation is occurring between the 99 EMA and just above the 200 weekly moving average after we did uh, wick down below it and bounce back above. Um, on the previous uh, recording, I did state that I was a little bit worried that we hadn't actually came down and touched this. We did wick down and bounce back above, okay? And we have been consolidating above. To me, that is a bullish sign, all right? So we do have this point of control just above this consolidation. This point of control is sitting here at 28,072. So I would say if we get above that, say, let's call it 28.1. If we close a 40, a four hour candle, excuse me, a four hour candle above 28.1 thousand, I would expect Bitcoin to make a larger move and complete the target of this triangle here, which is going to be up here around $29,000. Okay. Now, once we reach $29,000, we can potentially make a decision on what we're doing. Maybe we come back down here, test this point of control, come back up and break out. Okay. Either that or potentially we're denied, come back out of this pattern and uh, fall further down. Okay. Now, if for any reason uh, breakout fails on this pattern, um, the length of this flagpole here gives us a uh, pretty lengthy dump, which would take us down to the golden pocket retracement um, right around $23,000. So there is confluence there with that golden pocket retracement. And we can see as well that this 200 daily moving average is also in pretty much direct confluence with that. If we extrapolate that out, that line would pretty much hit that directly. So we do have to really be aware there is some confluence there. So uh, let's you know be aware that we might see a bearish move 
uh, even a fake back into the pattern, come back down and complete that. So uh, right now, what we're seeing on the four hour lends itself to the fact that we may be digging ourselves out of uh, what has been a lengthy consolidation as we do have stochastics RSI that is in an oversold territory and trying to bounce back uh, into a bullish zone. So uh, there are some signals this morning that are saying that we can move back up. Uh, but there are, however, a few things that are showing that we may uh, break down here. And, you know, if we even take a look at what we might be seeing here, you know, is this like... Is that going to be a shoulder, head and a shoulder kind of a thing? It's a little sketchy looking, but, you know, sometimes those don't have to be perfect in order for them to play out, okay? I'm going to remove that because, honestly, I don't really want to look at it. I want to stay bullish, and uh, I want to see the upside, but I do also have to stay open-minded to the fact that we may see further consolidation uh, to this 200 daily, uh, this golden pocket area, or even uh, as we flip over to the Bitcoin futures. Uh, I was looking at a little bit of a zoomed in view there, but if we go intraday, all right, uh, we do still have a CME gap to contend with uh, down in this area around uh, 20,000, excuse me, 20.4. Okay, so about 20.4 all the way up to about 21.1. Um, there is that CME gap on the futures. All right. So taking a look at what futures is doing this morning on the daily. We are flashing green. There's consolidation just below the 50 level on the RSI. Stochastics RSI has poked itself into uh, neutral territory. Um, really kind of waffling right now let's zoom into the four hour time frame four hour is trying to flip bullish here with the stochastics rsi with the blue line above the red trying to flip above this 50 level that would be uh definitely a bullish sign if we could get back above that you would see price action move above the middle bollinger band on this four hour time frame and likely gravitate up to the 99 ema which is just above 27,500. All right, if we see price action move uh, to that area, it's quite likely that we'll see a little bit of a larger move, uh, potentially above 29,000. So we are looking uh, above 29,000 if we make a move upside. And uh, if we make a move low side, probably 23 or lower. Okay. Basically, 26.5K has to hold for BTC. Uh, it did essentially hold uh, over the weekend. All right. We did close a couple four hour candles below that, but we did not close a daily. All right. So we've been holding uh, 26.5 on the four hour since then. I do want to see that hold for any sort of an uptrend to continue. If that doesn't hold. I do expect larger downside especially if we can't see a double bottom on this 200 weekly. Uh, if that were to break, we would see a significant move down. Okay, so let's move over to Ethereum. And I want to see what it's doing versus Bitcoin right now. And versus Bitcoin, it has actually made a move. It's broken out above uh, a local point of control on the one hour. Um, if we zoom out here, this could even almost be construed as an ascending triangle. Okay, that's a pretty neat ascending triangle, to be completely honest. All right. Bear with me here, folks. We'll get it together. So if we take the measured move of that ascending triangle, it's actually quite impressive. And it would take us pretty close to the 0 .072 area. All right, at around 0 
So it would be a decent move for the Ethereum BTC pair if that does break out. And if we take a look on the daily, this consolidation has taken place just above the 50 level. There was a bounce off the 50 level a few days ago. All right. And if we get above this point of control locally, which is literally like right where the price action is at right now. Um, there's a number of higher volume nodes that the price can gravitate towards. All right. So there is a great potential right now. Sorry, just doing a little cleanup here. There's a great potential right now for BTC pairs to break out. And to that effect, total three is still hanging in there in this consolidation here, just below the 200 weekly. All right. It is in this large triangle. It looks to be bouncing off the bottom there. Okay. And there is actually... Uh, some bullish divergence forming here where we see these candles have closed just slightly lower than these, but this RSI is starting to creep up. Okay, so there is some divergence there. Uh, there is this point of control here, and if we can see the altcoins pump about 10%, there is a chance for a much larger move in the alts. The alts have been beaten down versus BTC, and I do believe that it is honestly time for them to make a move okay um there has been a lot of meme coin meme coin excuse me mania lately but the larger caps seem to have been left out of that mania all right so taking a look here as we take a look at doge it's still consolidating all right in this very large triangle pattern. You maybe even could call this, you know, sort of a falling wedge or a bull flag. All right. And if that is a bull flag, Doge BTC would be looking at making a very large move close to a 4X, okay? So keep in mind, this is Doge BTC, all right? It has been consolidating just above the 200 weekly. And there is this 200 daily, all right? Which is also a target right here around, say, 382, okay? I have a couple other higher volume nodes that we could take a look at here. And then also the top of this formation. So I do see a move coming for Dogecoin and altcoins. You know, it just really kind of all depends on how you want to slice this triangle. If we slice it like that, it has more of a bullish bias. All right. And there's a much, much larger move to be looked at here. But it is just really, really likely to me that all coins start to break out. Okay. We're going to take a look at the Matic BTC pair. Okay. Matic extremely oversold. Or excuse me, in an extreme downtrend, it's actually extremely overbought on the one day stochastics RSI, which is interesting. Um, I believe if you move over to the weekly, it is beat to the ground. So sometimes when we see that, yeah, you can see here the stochastics RSI on the weekly is buried. All right. Last time we had that condition, we had large moves up. Okay. So when we see that where it's buried on the weekly, but it's actually overbought on the daily, uh, that means that we can get a larger move. Okay. So we're going to bounce back to the daily and break it down from there. Yeah, that's looking fancy, actually. That looks like even a little bit of a breakout and retest. All right. So. Let's 
It's a good looking pattern. Not seeing any any divergence that I would like to see. Um, but it's certainly showing strength on the RSI. So that's a good sign. All right. And a pattern like this for Matic. versus Bitcoin. I'm guessing that you're playing back out to around the golden pocket. Let's see here. Yeah. So that measured move would take the price directly back up to the golden pocket area. And then we could decide on a trend direction from there. Point of control to really flip this is actually around the 706 Fibonacci. All right, so there's a lot of volume and confluence up in this area. Decent chance if Matic versus BTC moves back up to this area, which would be above the 200 daily, uh, it would have a chance to consolidate and move up further. So that's kind of the move that I'm seeing there. All right. And there is potential for a larger move there, for sure. I'm going to jump over to Pepe with the meme coin mania. And we did give you the call on this the last time, folks. Don't tell me that you can't do technical analysis on new coins, meme coins, whatever kind of coin, stock, ETF, index. It doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't matter. All right? as the rock used to say so if you can smell what the clown is cooking this is called technical analysis and the last time that we did it for pepe we did get the breakout here now admittedly in the discord i was looking for something potentially like this to play out okay we haven't seen that play out yet but technically it's also not invalidated all right this could actually still happen and there is sort of a consolidation happening here with a point of control on the four hour mind you that it looks like it's breaking out of right now with another bull flag here almost looks like a cup and handle and when you take an aggressive measured move from this flagpole to the top of this uh, swing wick here you're looking at you know above 3500 and that's a very aggressive move from where Pepe is sitting right now. So potential for this long position, 127% uh, gains possible for Pepe. Set the stop loss at the bottom of the formation there at about 8.5%. And uh, you have a very significant risk to reward ratio of about 15 to 1 okay so pepe looking pretty solid uh it does have this trend line established here on the rsi so i would just look at that trend line if for any reason that trend line breaks obviously get out of your trade if the 50 level on the rsi breaks with the rsi above that then we should have momentum for this trade to play out okay so the idea would be to position yourself early, get your stop loss in place, hope for the breakout. And honestly, at the top of this formation, you know, maybe take a little bit of profits and see if it consolidates. You may have uh, a chance to, you know, get back in and increase the size of your position or just take a little bit of profit. So we'll have to see how this formation plays out. But to me, it is actually looking like it could potentially be bullish. Um, You know, there was here, this is probably what you would call some bearish divergence. All right. Because we did have this swing here that came up there, but then this swing did not come as high as that, but the RSI did. So that did play out to the downside. Uh, technically, there is this support here, and we're just looking to break out of the point of control and out of this bull flag for Pepe. Okay. 
So it does look like a bull flag. Um, you know, and something else you can look at, there are patterns that form on the RSI. Okay. So maybe a little bit of a, a shoulder head and shoulder that formed there on the RSI. All right. looking for any potential divergences yeah yeah actually we've got hidden bullish divergence on the one hour folks on the one hour so take a look at this these are the type of divergences that can pay the bills right here okay so we've got this swing down on the RSI here corresponding to this area here uh, this swing down is further than this swing down but lo and behold uh, this swing down on the RSI is actually further down while this swing up in price action is higher so this is what you call hidden bullish divergence and this makes this pattern very likely to play out this morning okay so even just from the local measured move of that bull flag it is going to take us up and out of the pattern and potentially create that larger move uh, just above 2000 okay so uh, maybe think about taking some profits around that 2000 level maybe just a little bit beforehand let's watch for this move to play out this morning uh, you're right at this high volume node right here and chances are you're at least gravitating up to this one okay so if we were to do like an extension there, that high volume note is right around the 0.5 fib. Really want to see uh, price action get above that, uh, test the top of this formation, break out and hit this target. All right, that is the target right now this morning for Pepe and if we just like zoom out here a little bit you can see like this move is just really potentially just getting started on the three hour time frame with Stochastic's RSI just starting to curve up well in the oversold territory okay 33 minute time frame is another one you can use for Pepe I am finding in conjunction with that 33 minute three hours working very nicely as well as the three minute seven minute 12 minute and 15 minute to drill down on those entries and exits all right so what we're seeing right now on uh, is potentially positive the only thing i'm really kind of worried about is maybe okay you know is this a little bit of a bear flag forming right there do we have to you know break down a little bit first before we would move back up do we break that point of control can we break out here but sometimes this 33 will give you false signals as well so you do want to break out to like your one hour two hours looking very favorable yeah see this is just starting to curl up so let's just keep an eye on this because it does look favorable to me all right, it does look favorable. And that trend line actually stretches all the way back there. So let's just hope that trend line holds for Pepe. And, you know, there's definitely room for a move here. Definitely room. All right. So these are some of the altcoins. Let me give you another bonus this morning. This is Gala. All right, Gala versus U.S. dollar tether. This is on the daily. It is starting to curve down a little bit, but we do have this bull flag forming on the RSI and the price action. Very identical looking. Uh, nice bounces occurring here. And we do have this point of control, all right, which is right at the top of the formation. So if we break out of that point of control, this high volume node, Gala is going to explode, okay? And this pattern almost looks a little bit like Pepe does, all right? Oops. 
excuse the chatter in the background there with the music so you can see here this formation where we came down dipped down again and then we've been consolidating it's very similar for gala came down came back up dipped down and now consolidating in this flag so really to me there's like a neckline forming here right And you can look at these patterns however you want to look at them, folks, okay? There's a lot of different ways to skin a cat with technical analysis. And, you know, if you look at it like that, you may even get a more aggressive measured move. And it may move a little bit up closer to that 22 cents. But we're looking at these levels for Gala right now, okay? We're looking at these levels, okay? And honestly, Gala is an asset that you really should be just looking at accumulating. Keep in mind, folks. Nothing I'm saying here should be construed as financial advice. Obviously, I put out a good trade on the last video. Uh, that should not have been construed as financial advice either. Please don't copy what I do uh, or what I say. Please just try to use this information for informational and entertainment purposes only as I am not a financial advisor. Please get yourself a financial advisor. Do your own due diligence and research before getting into any coin project trade or investment. Okay, it's very important. Uh, it's a huge fundamental part of uh, what venturing into this space is about, is making sure that you do your own research. I'm just here uh, to help be a part of that, okay? And I hope that I do help you in that aspect. If I do, if I ever have, please make sure that you're hitting the like button, that you're subscribed to the channel, that you're hitting the bell for notifications. Leave me a comment, uh, anything, you know, let me know what's going on in your life. Um, you know, if, uh, if any of this information has been valuable to you, if you think I'm a complete clown and an idiot, uh, let me know because honestly, I'm curious what you all have to say. And I need you to help me push the algorithm. This is a fledgling channel and, uh, we just started out this year. Okay. So with that in mind, um, you know, some people don't like what we have to say. And, uh, you know, some of those people are Bitcoin Karens. OK, but unfortunately for Bitcoin Karen, uh, she has not seen the $10,000 price tag that she was promised by a lot of analysts yet. All right. Uh, she would be interested to see if Bitcoin went down to around 23,000, but that's still not the 10,000 she was promised. OK. So Bitcoin Karen's looking for uh, 10,000. I'm looking for either 23 or 29. Okay. So let's uh, try and err on the side of 29. Okay. Because this has been a lengthy consolidation. And honestly, we can almost cut this a little differently if we tried. You know, maybe this is a little bit of a falling wedge. Maybe. Maybe it's even a little bit of a falling broadening wedge. All right. And if that's a falling broadening wedge, then that can have a bullish bias as well. So let's stay open-minded to how we're looking at Bitcoin. Let's try and stay fluid. If you have open leverage trades, try and keep a stop loss in place. All right. We do have a pretty obvious pattern here. And once we get a break of this triangle on the RSI or a break of this triangle in price action, I would expect things to start heating up pretty quickly. Okay. Pretty quickly. All right. Now, just on the way out here, just for craps and giggles, we're going to take a look at the USDT dominance. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. Okay. So it does look like it's losing strength. All right. It does look like it's losing strength. on the four hour okay and i say that because we've lost this stochastics rsi momentum it has dipped back below 70 or excuse me 80 level with the blue below the red which is bearish okay so i would like to see that continue 
a candle close below this 7 EMA on the four hour, a loss of this point of control, and honestly, a loss of the attempt to break out of the top of this pattern. And Tether's going to lose some dominance to Bitcoin. All right, if that happens. Okay. What? Again, we'll always stay open-minded here. This isn't the most bearish of flags. And it could actually create a huge dump for BTC. I would say if you saw something like this for tether dominance, then Bitcoin's probably moved down to 23K. All right, so I don't see the momentum right now in the favor of this dominance increasing, however. There's certainly no bullish divergence. All right, but no bearish divergence either. It's just this flag, so we have to respect this flag. And uh, the point of control. All right. Let's see if anything's cooking on the one hour. And one hour actually wants to pump. The one hour actually wants to pump. Uh, that's not the greatest thing to see. Okay. So just keep an eye on your positions this morning. There may be a little bit of a move coming up in the short term for USDT dominance. All right, so we'll keep an eye on those targets, okay? Um, the hope is we get a breakdown there, but we don't have any guarantees in crypto, folks. We don't have any guarantees, all right? So if we flip back over to the 15 minute for BTC, this actually looks like a cup and handle to me. So I'm not really sure how USDT looked like it was pumping, but let's take a quick measured move on this cup and handle we're in about 27 285 uh, potential quick move this morning for BTC all right 27 2 to 27 285 and that actually is a significant resistance level and if we can get above that I do believe we will really pump Okay. So that's that flag there. That's that cup. And that's what we've got this morning. Okay. So a lot of the time cup and handle are head and shoulders. Flip a coin. Okay. Holy cow, how did he do that? All right. So once again, it's kind of all just how you slice the pie. All right. But honestly, with this, like, I really do see Bitcoin moving above 27 this morning. But uh, 27 has to hold or, uh, you know, you'll see a dip back down to this, you know, value range in this POC all right so that's what I'm seeing that's Bitcoin uh, that's ethereum that's XRP um, that's Matic that's Pepe that's gala I just gave you all that stuff this morning if you appreciate that at all make sure you're smashing the like button on the way out honk the bell for notifications get subscribed to this channel this is Crypto Clown World. I am Jason Bruce. I left crypt, uh, 
Bitcoin Karen on the screen again. All right. I left Bitcoin Karen on the screen again. But we've been good at doing that, folks. We've also been good at making some calls and making some money over the last few days. So uh, that's probably what really ultimately counts. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Make sure you have yourselves a fantastic Monday, an even better week. And uh, this is Crypto Clown World. I'm Jason Bruce. Take care.